Well, it is five o'clock and all members of the board are present. So I call the meeting to order and I'll ask for a motion to approve our agenda for today's meeting. Second. Been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Yeah, great. Uh, next item on the agenda is public discussion. Are there any members of the public who'd like to address the board? And um, just to let everybody know, there's some photography happening during the beginning of the meeting that will be used for city PR material. Um, okay. so that's that's who our guest is. So it's mine. <laughs> or do something traumatic with a cat. Yeah. yeah. Either look like we're having fun or being serious. <laughs> something along those lines. But not so. both at the same time. Wow. <laughs> <children have fun. laughs> um, okay, so that brings us to uh, item four. We have one policy to review a revision of the library programs. I'm sorry. Jeez. Uh, who worked on this, Jason and Andy? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say, either? Sorry, call it red. <laughs> <laughs> some years you change one line, and some years you decide, let's have fun. <laughs> it's been around for a while, so it's time for a. Mm -hmm. Any board members have questions or comments? I got a question. This is on page seven, 702.54. I think it's ambiguous what is in this statement about you don't duplicate programs. And I can't, what I can't tell, there are three things that follow that. that and I can't tell whether all three have to be true okay. in order for the uh, exception to occur or whether just one or two. Um, so I would think we need to sort of just find a way to fix that. Uh, I suppose. I'm guessing they're joined by or. Is, it, is, that's, is that right? Uh, yeah. yeah. So it is one of three. You don't yeah. have to have three, all three. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think we there, there, there's an or before the last one, but not the second term. Right. Right. So it should be the first okay. term or or. Yeah. Anyone in, yeah. I think we can consider that a small change. Yeah, Robin. Um 702.8. I'm not sure why we're referring to another organization when we talk about the Friends Foundation and our bylaws. Why would we refer to an external group? Or in our policy this way. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, this came from, uh, this has been a part of the collection development policy. Right, I understand. So, yeah, I understand, but it seems odd to be talking about our money flowing through another group in our procedures. Like this. we're to say, we are, we don't accept mm -hmm. the funding. That would make sense to me. To say, to refer to another group feels clumsy at best. Because it's, it's another freestanding organization. Have we mentioned the friends in the past in any of our? So that was the change you made at last. No, it's been in the collection also. Awesome. Yeah, it's in the collection so right there. Sorry, it seems sorry. it seems like the bigger point is that is in the second sentence, right? Right. The gifts are not accepted with stipulations, but we'll we'll work with donors. That would make more sense to me. Um. So yeah, it's a little tricky because the library doesn't receive to get that. So it could say something like gifts received through the Friends Foundation are not accepted yeah. with stipulations. Because like the it. Friends Foundation does not make the decisions on programming. Right. So right. it's right. I don't know. What do people think? Can we just get rid of the first sentence? History of it in the in the collection development policy was that we did as the IOC Public Library manage gifts coming in, right? Uh, and our staff would have to go through 
um, sometimes thousands of books per week. And then we made a policy, a procedure change, and wanted it embedded in policy that we, we at the library don't do that. The Friends Foundation is the one that right. is uh, in, uh, in kind or the physical books. Does anyone remember if there's someplace else that says that friends are the are the giving route for monetary donations? Yeah, there is someplace else because I remember looking at it in the last. It was in the collection development policy for sure. Mm -hmm. Probably that just maybe this just stuck out to me as being kind of clumsy, but maybe everyone else is comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's accurate, right? That the Friends Foundation does do that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's just a matter of if this is the right place for it. I understand your intent for it. It makes perfect sense. It's just whether this is. I'm trying to think if it would break anything if if we just left it as stated. What what would what would it make us do that we don't want to do, or keep us from doing that we do want to do? That's a patented Rocklandism. <laughs> Sorry, that's what policy is for, <laughs> yeah. is to let us no, do what we want to do and keep us from doing things we yeah, shouldn't it, do. It would change the story. It just, like I said, it, it feels like it's our procedures referring to an outside group. But I don't know that it would be weakened at all, starting with the second. So don't say financial gifts are not accepted for stipulations. Um, but I don't. I think I think it would be okay either way. I mean, as far as practice yeah, on our think. side, is the purpose of this because people are wanting to give gifts specifically for a certain program to happen, like right. some reading? Is that what happens? So that people are like, "This money is for some reading." Memorials too. and memorials, hmm. but that okay. should be in the Friends Foundation gift policy, right? Okay. Right, and I hear. But I guess if you're looking at policies about programs and you want a specific program to happen, you know, like I will donate the money for this program to happen. And I think that that kind of says that we do not accept that. Right. We're right? Be able we do to not say, accept. No, thanks. Just because you paid for it doesn't mean we're going to put it on. Right. Right. Okay. So it does need to have something about gifts in this particular policy. Right. Okay. This is not a hill I want to die on. <laughs> 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 Given that, do I have a motion to, to approve the policy? Or are there other things people would like to discuss with? Wait, what are we deciding that it stays as is? Yeah. Or we're yeah, just striking yeah. the first sentence? Yeah, except for the or. Okay. So I'll move to approve the policy as written. Okay. With that, you want additional? Yeah, both the old there and the new Yeah. Okay. And thank you for point nine seven zero two point nine. I appreciate that last statement being included. So I've got a motion. I'm not sure. I I'll take it. There's a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. So somewhere I picked up the the nomenclature of all in favor, but any opposed. Why? Why is that? <laughs> We're used to being a. get that. Um, well, we'll move on to staff reports. Um, but while you're thinking about it, that, if anyone wants wants to find out why we say all intents and purposes, which seems very. Quite redundant to me, but I'm sure it's embedded in some districts. Some, some lawyer that, thought yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. the ones who are responsible yeah. for the most redundancies. <laughs> Actually, most of the crimes against our language probably. <laughs> uh, staff reports, and we'll start with the director's report. Yeah, just a couple. Anything to add? Yeah, a couple things to add. Um, shortly before this meeting, um, the packet for the council meeting our committee came out, and that includes the list of applicants for the vacant board position, as well as their applications. So if folks are interested in taking a look, as a reminder, there is not a vehicle um, in the process for feedback from the board or from library staff, but if people want to talk about what things look like or any applicants that they think particularly address gaps, um, I'm always happy to have that conversation. Um, 
You may have noticed on the agenda that we did not include a review of policy 700, which is a community relations policy. We needed to move that to next month to make sure we had, had an adequate um, update for the review. Um, so we'll address that in the next agenda. And I mentioned upcoming leave. Um, I had um, one procedure done on my right hand in the fall. I'm having the left hand done. I said two, lead, two weeks. I think that's probably on the conservative end of what will end up happening. But um, I will plan with staff for a full four in case that's what's needed. Um, and then work with my provider to figure out when, what the timeline will really be. Okay. Um, otherwise, um, no updates, but happy to answer the questions. Um, and a thank you to Robin for joining me for the update for the supervisors. Mm -hmm. I felt really good about going back to in-person updates. We haven't done that since before the pandemic. Um, so it, it felt great. And I think that we'll we'll work on doing that with a little more regularity. Any questions or comments for Ellsworth? Um, what do we hear from adult services? Anything to add there? I think it's happening in two days. Could you uh, say a little bit more about the digital media lab and the collaboration with the makerspaces in Cedar Rapids? In Cedar Rapids, sure. That's coming up on um, April 13th. Um, that was something that Cedar Rapids was planning, um, and it's a former ICPL staffer, so they no one with us mm -hmm. and reached out um, to Stacy particularly and we've actually been doing a lot in the visual media lab um, and they're really complimentary labs um, after having a discussion which was great because I don't check in as often as I should with Cedar Rapids and this was a nice introduction inter introduction to working together mm -hmm. we should do much more mm -hmm. um, but uh, to learn more about their labs was really good because they have uh, a lot more of the production uh, equipment than we do, and they but they lack the IT support that we have in the company. Uh, to allow us to get the software like Photoshop um, and or AutoCAD design. Mm -hmm. uh, we've really focused much more on the digital creation side than on the uh, now put it in production with a free printer or. Um, laser butter mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be a little mixed fair up there. And so we'll be tabling there, but Stacy and Charlie will be there to talk about what we have on offer down here with not too far away. And uh, it's open to the our lab is always open to the public. Their lab we just need um, some more hand holding first because of the equipment. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a great introduction to the space virtually and um, a chance to get to work with them. It, um, so have, have we sort of decided that we don't want to be in the stuff making business? Or? We've left it open in the, um, the meeting with Jen from Cedar Rapids actually was really good because we got to ask all those questions again. Yeah. Of like, is it better now? Um, right. Like 3D printing and things like that. I think we've still left it open with, um, we could uh, for sure. Uh, they had really good comments about some of the, I forget the name of the equipment, but there's like a, a, a wood uh, burning thing that they mm -hmm. have. Uh, probably not doing mm -hmm. justice, but it requires a, a hood, a um, good, yeah. and you have to wear a respirator. Yeah, so, so that might be a little ways away from the four. But the three D printing has always been on our mind. I think really what it comes down to with a lot of the equipment, like sewing machines, have come up in the past as well, just like practical equipment, is really like who do we have to be able to help you manage yeah. the equipment? Um, and yeah. sometimes we've just said, like with Cricut, nobody knew how to use the Cricut, but we taught ourselves, and it's fairly intuitive. Yeah. Um, 3D printing is kind of that way as well, but um, some of the things that they pointed out at Cedar Rapids is like usually um, the one-off designs is like fine. It's more of the people that just want to make an odds and ends toy or something. Right. It's kind of like okay, but it's going to be sixteen. Right. 
this much plastic and we created a plastic thing for the world. Right. How right. Are you right. Know? Like, yeah. Sometimes it's, yeah, I want to design a part that fits into this engine. Yeah. And successfully fix something. Other times it's just a gadget. Yeah. And, and also you can send away for a lot of these things now. That's like fairly easy. So we right. sort of focus more on that, like create that design yeah. uh, for the 3D printing and then upload it, it to place it, uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Source it. yeah. Well, we must shut the door on the idea for sure. Yeah. And if we could get, if Stacy ever was super into it, or if we had, she left and somebody else came in with that desire, I, that's kind of the kind of thing we would support. Yeah. I kind of feel like, um, sorry, this is an interest of mine. Um, the uh, laser engraver cutter is, is, that's a printer, really, more or less. Um, that would be an interesting addition. No. Yeah. Stacy is always interested in your ideas. Yeah. So I will pass it on for sure. Uh, the cricket was like an experiment. Yeah. And it just sort of blew up. And now we can work on yeah. book it and press thing. Now it works so people can do the cricket and put it on the shirt. Which, yeah. No, no, I, put that. I didn't put that photo in here, but there's one thing in the next report you'll see. A parent made a shirt for her son, child soccer team. That said, I hope everyone had fun or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> they had the idea that came in and made it off the bed and got it pressed in shirts. Yeah. Anything else for Jason? Uh, moving on to the Community and Access Services Department report. No questions or comments there? What are the multiple languages that are being in that last item? Making short videos in multiple languages. Yeah. I'm just curious about what yeah. languages. I know Spanish. 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 Spanish and French and Chinese. For sure. I'm sorry, the first one was? Um, Spanish, French, and Chinese, uh -huh. for sure. And um, there was a Spanish one that was already um, put out that featured uh, my staff member who does the Spanish bilingual story time mm -hmm. and did a little video about her story time in both languages. So that one's out in the world, but there's more coming. Um, Miriam, who's on staff, is, uh, is a native Spanish speaker, and then she's also now um, about to be certified in French. But she also speaks Russian and Italian. She can do a little bit of uh, other languages. She can do about seven languages too. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very common. That's a reason. How do people keep them straight? Is that always right? Yeah, I'm not happy. Oh, that's all I got. Oh, my. Um, and our development report is next. Questions or comments for Katie? I'm looking hear. forward to the event tomorrow night. Yeah. I didn't hear what happened with Dave Eggers. It just, they canceled or? Um, we have a rescheduled date that we'll be able to announce soon, but we have landed on a new date, which is exciting. And um, yeah, and then we've got Ellen uh tomorrow night. And that event will take place on the stage of the English with both the audience and the audience on stage together. So that should be fun. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how I didn't know about begin with books, but yay. We have a book. Yeah. I did get that book. Mm -hmm. I thought it was worthy of highlighting. It's just you know something you do. And I thought, oh, I'm not sure that that has yeah. raised to the top of um, yeah. you know, and periodically, you know, when, when we run out of those materials and they need to be refreshed um, entirely, you get new books ordered and, and new materials ordered. We go back to Hill State and they have just been generous each time and have renewed, I think. I think it's the next time they renew it'll be the fifth time that they supported the program. So it'll be great. great. Yeah. I think it'd be interesting. Do um, you know when that the partnership started? I want to say it was like 95. And it's been going on for more than a generation. You've yeah, been doing it's, these I wanna, packages. I want to say it's like kids. I think. Because I was at Marlington, we, we, we stole it from Iowa City yeah. when I was at Marlington. 
Yeah. And we still have it from the day around 98 or so. And when I came into work on Monday morning, there was a message from the head of the um, the baby department at UIHC, and she said, I think we've had a bit of a baby boom. I know you just delivered books <laughs> that we need for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, moving on to the president's report, I have none. Are there announcements from members? I hope that uh, you all who haven't communicated with me about nominations for officers will do so to sweet. Yeah. <laughs> to use the one French phrase I can use right away. Uh, just send me an email is all. And um, best to send it to my university address because I'm not sure I get the ones that go through the, uh, the library. university. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Uh, then I'll, I'll consult my two other uh, members when we get an, a sufficient number and, and prepare a nomination. Okay, great. And we will elect uh, new officers next month. Um, any other announcements from members? Brings us. Yeah, I will not be here at the next meeting. Best meeting. You may have. I might want to rethink I that. <laughs> can't accept too much responsibility. <laughs> we have a strict seven seven o'clock bedtime bedtime <laughs> routine start. So I guess if I, that maybe is a bonus because our <laughs> meetings will have to go. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Pretty quickly. That brings us to committee reports. Uh, any report from the advocacy committee? We are we can, yeah, at the end of a legislative period, yeah. pretty much, which um, I want to say was incredibly successful in terms of advocacy, that some of the bills that were interpreted as not being supportive of our work did not get through a final week. Um, which I'm grateful, but we anticipate they will be back in the fall. They might be revised, they might look a little different, but some of the concepts will return in the fall. Great. So I think we're a lower lower energy right now, kind of an unorganizing. Yep. Standby yeah. mode. Yeah. Well, yeah. Keep an eye on things. Right? Other elections and yeah, other yeah. bills got more press. And so, um, Luckily, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, mm -hmm. but yeah, right, I, I think we're lucky. Sessions. Yeah, yeah. At, least, at least the live. I think a lot of that, um, I, you know, I want to acknowledge has to do with Sam really leading yeah. the advocacy effort. Sam has put a lot of energy and yeah. Anne has worked to bring energy, and like a lot of people on the staff here, I think put a disproportionate amount of energy into this, you know, and, yeah. um, really took a leadership position. Um, any report from the finance committee? No, but we will have one next month. Okay. Because we'll because be meeting the, yeah. after the quarterly report is in. Okay. And anything from the Friends Foundation representatives? Okay. I don't remember. Um, let's see. There were communications included in the packet. Any? Comments or questions about those? Brings us to the consent agenda. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? I can make that motion. Thank you. And a second? A second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the consent agenda. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And all opposed, say no. Nay. <laughs> Um, let's see, April meeting has elections. Oh, I have to do appointments for the foundation board. Let me know if you're interested, or I'll let you know that you're interested. <laughs> Did we lose three months of the year off this calendar? What's that? Did we lose three months of the year off that calendar? We did. Yeah. Have we... I usually do for the next nine months. I was going to say, I thought it was always three by three. Okay. No, I just, I, my memory was wrong. I thought we did, did the years so that we knew the policies each time when they were coming along. It's not a 
hardship to add another. Uh, either way. I think maybe what happened is the boxes got bigger. Yeah, it looks like, <laughs> April, it looks like the box took a disproportionate amount of space. Yeah, yeah April is a busy one. Yeah. So we'll we'll review um, displays, outreach policy, and community relations. We'll elect officers. We'll look at look at the financials. We'll have three department results. I don't think I'm setting a record next week. That's right. She won't be here. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. 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 All, been, all been carefully arranged. Well, not have a seven o'clock bedtime either. We'll be at out of town. So um, that brings us to the end of the agenda. So I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you all for uh, Thank being you. here. And Thank you. For all the work you do when you're not here. Well, thank you.